This tutorial is enough to teach you how you can replicate a specific image with the help of Midjourney AI and not only replicate, you can also literally copy it and even take inspiration from image and, and make your own image. So stick till the end of the video and you'll learn everything regarding Midjourney of how you can use it and how you can replicate images, not just one method, I'll explain you multiple methods to make creative images by taking reference or just even copy that image. This is Adit and you're watching skill curve so before i go and teach you i want to remind you something these methods can be responsibly for creative reinterpretations they can also be used for mimic artists unique style too closely so i won't say don't use this tool but please respect the fellow creators and their rights and use these tools with care so first of all let's go to the mid journey directly without wasting any time we are now at the mid journey page click on add image icon and choose a file from your computer or simply drag and drop your image into the box and we will use two example in this image okay there are multiple ways to do this replicating image thing but first one is i want to talk about descriptive image prompts so our first example is the great wall of kanagawa if i could pronounce that once your image appears click and drag it to the drop image to describe Midjourney will analyze the artwork and generate several textual prompts. Think of these AI interpretations of what AI sees a dramatic ocean wave crashing against boats in traditional Japanese woodblock style. Now you can click any individual prompt to load into the prompt box and hit enter or you can choose run all prompt on the right to see these variation at once. Note, if you refresh this page, these auto-generated prompts will be vanished. So the only persist of your current session is review the output. Each one of the evokes the essence of great wave through non-duplicated exactly. This is the limit of what plain English can achieve, capturing a scene's vibe without copying every detail. So that's a kind of trade-off. Now let's try a different picture. We can go from Neo from the Matrix movie. We can repeat the same process, drag your Neo's image, drop to describe it, and then run all the prompts. You'll see four versions that feel true to cinematic art style, mood lightning and green code reflection, and a sense of digital dystopia without recreating the exact movie still. We talked about the English plain prompt. Well, these has their own limitation, but one thing that has no limitation is direct image prompting. So okay, this one is beyond descriptive language. It's almost near copy territory. Now let's back to the our same result. Pick any prompt and click add image. Select your original wave image and drag into the image prompt field. The result immediately align much more closely with the source, essentially cloning it in AI form. So basically just copying with the help of AI. But I don't know why someone would do that, but it's great for educational purpose. It will help you a lot in different scenarios. Now to push this further, you can click on use to populate your prompt box, including the image reference, add a space, then append hyphen hyphen IW. IW means image weight, followed by a value between 0.5 and 3 image weight. So 0.5 makes the image more influential, weight of 3 makes the image itself dominating. So let's go with IV3 and combine with your described prompt and you'll get near identical radiations borderline plagiarism it's really good so there's a fun fact you can skip the describe step together and simply load your image assign iw3 and the ai will faithfully reproduce it so repeat it with a new example drag it in the new image drop one of the text prompt set iv3 and watch how spot on the result become Well, there's a bonus trip also while in the prompt box click on style reference or any image hit enter and the mid journey will include a token in your prompt hyphen hyphen style underscore weight is 100 but you can nudge it to the thousands to the further bias output toward the reference artistic field now let's talk about another underrated feature of the mid journey which is called mood board so the third approach shift from copying to creative inspiration using mood boards so navigate to the personalized tab scroll to the bottom click on create mode board and you can pull in images from URLs, your mid-journey gallery, and even upload your things from computer. Aim for 20 to 50 images that share a cohesive aesthetic, too few and palette narrows, too many varied style will dilute the focus. You can add up to 100 images, but I would say 30 to 50 is a very sweet spot you should try out. Now once your board is ready, click on use in prompt option, you will see a long coded string, don't worry, it auto impacts when you hit the generate button. 
at the front of the prompt you can add to quotation mark or any symbol you prefer this is called a void prompt because you're not specifying any subject you're simply asking mid journey to channel the mood board's overall feel and for the cleanest results you can use a custom aspect shortcut if you have one here's what you see abstract mood driven images that feel like snapshot from uh, different films from different aesthetics it totally depends on what you built into the mood you didn't need explicit subject matter just the lightning color palette and atmosphere is all you need um, a couple of more parameter you can experiment with is style draw which toggles a different rendering engine sometimes the raw result may surprise you and the style hyphen s controls the board's influence which is zero to thousand default is hundred higher value intensify the aesthetic i typically stick with the 500 but feel free to more exploration now finally let's merge this technique you can drag a mood board inspired image into drop image to describe pick the best prompt swap out the subject something like so imagine so take a new image and you can just you know combine it maybe you add some superhero imagine superman and that's it add your into your prompt and that's it you'll get a hybrid image that will amaze you now you have handpicked your entire mood isn't this wild like you got a toolkit descriptive prompt of vibe capturing image prompts and now you can be much more creative now another quick reminder i would like to say that use these tools and powers i gave you ethically because mid journeys v7 dropped is crazily addictive so one thing i would say is don't try to violate some of the copyright laws and always try to respect the creator's value now you can try more images now i have also tried to generate more images with the taking of this inspiration you can see some of the images i've copied and looked how closely mid journey tried to replicate its images Okay, if you want to replicate this image more faster way simply go there and click on draft mode and that's it you will see even much more faster replication if you don't want draft mode you simply disable it and click on standard button and you will see a slower but more effective way but i would always say go for draft mode because it's much faster and cheaper it takes less credit again if you want to make another mood board you can simply go to the same option personalize way scroll down and you can see create mood option you can create another mood board and then add your images i would say go with 30 to 50 images that's a lot and that's enough after but make sure these images are like in similar style in similar aesthetics otherwise your ai will be get confused so, so this was how you can use this replicate technique with merge journey and that's super impressive if you like this video just simply click on like button share it and for more such cutting edge tutorial latest technologies videos every day just subscribe the channel